morning good morning everybody it is Monday morning yes that it for sure is it's the last day of this month yeah we are on the 31st of August can you believe it it's September already tomorrow next thing you know it's going to be snow snowing you know Uh, finally leaving this place here I could have left yesterday if I really wanted to but why would I leave at you know 10 o'clock at night you know oh, I figured may as well just leave today New Holland Pennsylvania that's where we are still at in 800 feet turn left on Water Street and then turn right in 400 feet yeah the GPS is going to be screaming at me because I'm going to be going other way not the other way than what he wants me to go he wants me to go right on this light I'm going to go left Turn right. Yeah. Construction ahead. Actually, since I had a day off here yesterday, I actually uh, updated the GPS. And it actually had a map update. So everything is a little different now. Well, not everything, but some things are a little tiny bit different now. Here we go. Well, four wheeler, if you don't want to go, well, I guess I'll go. If you were sleeping there, not paying attention. I'm not going to sit and wait for you to wake up. Continue on this road. I could for clearly 12 miles. see him. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but he was leaned over there to the passenger side playing with something over there, so, you know, he's not going to be paying attention, and we'll let him sit over there. Don't bitch and complain if I make my turn. Oh, we got a Peter Bill out there. I'm gonna lock up there too. Huh. Yeah, they redid this asphalt here, it looks like, and they don't look like they're done yet because in a lot of places the edges are higher than, than what the. Uh, asphalt is so when you're coming off the road you know you hit a bump you know yeah. anyways I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of New Holland looks pretty cool doesn't it some nice old buildings again yeah it's a gorgeous morning again though it's not raining a little bit cloudy but yeah it's pretty warm again I have to use my AC all night just to get through the night that is my AP unit though in Pennsylvania you're not uh, not allowed to idle overnight a diesel engine over five tons so you're only allow allowed to idle it every uh, every hour for five minutes that's it and I need a little more than that so that's why we have an APU unit and I got it fixed and it's working great after we got it fixed again you know so it's been idling pretty hard there all day yesterday and overnight it's been idling steady Those of you that don't know what an APU unit is, it's an auxiliary unit. It's a little diesel engine that runs off of my diesel, off of the diesel tanks there, and then charges my battery. I have air conditioning on it, and it uh, also pumps hot water or pumps the water through the engine through the uh, APU unit and then it goes through my big block through my uh, uh, truck engine 
And what it does in essence is in, in winter, it actually keeps my block from freezing my big engine, you know. So it's working really good for me. And it usually comes with a bunk heater as well, So, but I already had a bunk heater, so when I got it installed, I didn't need to install a bunk heater, but I did get it anyways. I, I got a bigger bunk heater than what I had in here. I only had a, uh, what they call a D2 bunk heater in here, and I got a D4 installed in here, so. Oh, look at that, there's an Amish lady right ahead of us riding her bicycle. You know what? I saw something yesterday that was pretty funny. These Amish guys, you know, they don't want to ride cars, right? But yet they are required to have lights on their uh, on their uh, buggies, you know? So yesterday evening when I was, you know, walking around there, all of a sudden it was too far away for, for me to film it. I had my camera with me and everything, but it was just so funny, you know, like uh, this horse and buggy riding along there and he's got all of them LED lights on the buggy everywhere. I mean, even the triangle and everything was LED and it was flashing. He even had blue lights underneath the buggy and that looked pretty cool. I thought that was funny as hell. <laughs> you don't want to ride cars, but you pimp out your buggy, horse and buggy, you know. <laughs> that would have been something that I could have filmed if I was close enough. But, or if I had a camera like Jukebox, you know, I could have zoomed in. But I don't have one of them cameras just yet, so. But that was funny. Anyways, we will continue on here. And Go to Hazleton, Pennsylvania, that's where our reload is. We just do a drop and switch over there, so. Pick up our reload and head towards Toronto. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that and then uh, have ourselves an awesome day. But anyways, we are just coming into Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I'm just getting hungry. So I'm gonna go pull her into this uh, little truck stop on here and then we'll go grab ourselves a bite to eat yeah i saw a couple of spots open over there too so usually this truck stop is pretty darn filled up all the time so sometimes it's difficult to get a parking spot in here so hopefully we can get ourselves a good spot Go inside and grab me a bite to eat. Oh, you decided to come in here too? Alright. You didn't use your single though. Thought he was just gonna go by. No, he has a single light on before he didn't. Oh well. Looks like this is gonna get jammed up here before you know it, you know? <laughs> oh, he wants to go to the kill island, okay. Alrighty, well. I'll go uh, park her in here somewhere and then uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We have Eat gotten our line. reload. Yeah. I just did my trailer switch here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Turn right on Canto Expressway, PA 924. Yeah. Yeah, and as I told you guys uh, a little bit there uh, that my. Uh, Grand Magnelli had a map update there yesterday and they sure have designed the map a little different now that's for sure now when I uh, typed it in to go to uh, Mississauga on this road for 3.2 miles it asked me what border crossing I wanted to go or it basically told me that it had me routed to go to uh, KW or that Queens uh, Queens Bridge there, yeah, that Queens Bridge border crossing. And I wasn't sure what they meant, like it had an uh, avoid that border and stuff like that option in there. I didn't quite understand it the first time, so 
so then I uh, I just accepted it had it rode me to wherever it wanted to rode and uh, then it was routing me over the Queen uh, Elizabeth Bridge there and well that's not where I'm crossing so I selected it again to route to Mississauga and it gave me the option again so this time I hit the avoid on the key, uh, Queen's uh, Bridge there and then it asked me if I wanted to go on the uh, Fort Erie Peace Bridge there and that one I did want to go on so it was kind of nice actually the way they updated it I never used to ask before like which border crossing I wanted to cross at you know and all it did so that's kind of nice that they actually put it in there because then you know it, 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 I guess kind of in a way warns you right away speed warning that you're going to be crossing that border and also it tells you what border crossing it's planning and roading you so that was kind of nice and then if you don't like the border crossing you can uh, hit the uh, avoid and uh, we'll try and find a different border so that's nice good job Rand McNally a big thumbs up from me yeah I'm happy about that I will see uh, what else what kind of changes what else they have changed you know over time I guess I'll find uh, more things that they have changed but that's one of the biggest one I've noticed so far so so we'll see we'll see what happens anyways let's put the hammer down towards Toronto we have 400 miles to go should be there tonight though I think so I'm thinking about uh, I would say 7 7 30 ish that's Ontario time should be there yeah know what happens when we go to Mississauga Ontario if we have time to spend a little bit of time there I generally get a shower fuel up get me a little bit of cash advance and the most important one is I go to Master Steak yes we're gonna have a nice steak tonight if nothing else comes up you know unless they all of a sudden have a load that's in a rush it needs to leave tonight well I guess it won't leave me much choice but if I have an option I will be going to master state and you can mark that in a book there mr. jukebox I will be oh yes oh yes sir Bob we definitely will We want to be going on to I-81 over here and then go over to uh, 15 and take that across. I think that's 387 or something like that. Over there to I-90. And then we'll be in New York. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, continue on with our journey and then we'll see you guys down the road somewhere well guys we are still in Pennsylvania but we are cruising along on uh, US 15 and so I thought you know what we got some good sceneries up here so I would turn the camera on a little bit talk a little bit and maybe I'll uh, you know just cut the video for a little bit and then uh, speed it up and put a little bit of background music in there for you at least that way you get to enjoy the beautiful uh, sceneries up here you know so let's go ahead and cut it and we will see you guys though Miles and miles of trucks rolling end to end. What a sight to see! How did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, Help me! So the drivers all pitched in, and with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. 
When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well guys, I guess we are coming up to the point where uh, we are up to I-90. Yeah, we are already in New York. Now we're gonna have to pay a toll to get onto the highway. Luckily, we have Easy Pass and it's accepted up here. So we have mile. Keep to the right on I-90 West. Yeah, so we gotta go over the I-90, I guess, first to get onto the toll highway. Go through the toll booth first, and then we can finally get onto I-90, right? Yeah, look at that. Stop ahead, get a ticket. Well, I don't want to get a ticket. <laughs> I really don't. I want to go through this lane that has a little bit of a higher speed limit. This one has actually got a 20 mile an hour speed limit. Yes, it is. green light so we're good to go so let's go over here to the I-90 westbound Buffalo that's where we're going that's right yeah let's see how far we gotta go to Buffalo well it looks like 58 miles yeah then we should be in Buffalo that's where we will be crossing the border at so. so let's get down there and uh, go from there we got about a quarter of a mile to get to our exit to the bridge to Canada peace bridge it's called <laughs> yeah look at the traffic up here I always like to keep my distance you know but it's been under construction here for a while already on the, this exit to go to the Peace Bridge. So, yeah, it's also that time of the day where it's rush hour here in town. So, yeah. So, it's always... feet. Keep to the right on exit 9, Peace Bridge. Yeah, there it is. Peace Bridge. Slide right in 0.3 miles. 
That's what we will do. Yes, sir, Bob. Here we go, taking the exit. Yeah. Total width ahead. Well, we know that. In 0.2 miles, slide dry done. Great Lakes Seaway Trail. You want to charge you just about for everything these days. Pretty soon they'll start charging you to go to the bathroom. No, I know in South America they do actually do that. I know in Bolivia there in the big city there, Santa Cruz, Bolivia. That's where they do that. You want to use the washroom, you gotta pay one peso. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is this truck doing up here? There's four-way flashers on before the border. Ah, looks like he's broke down. Yeah, look at that. I'm working on him. Yeah, looks like we got the red light here, so I'm gonna have to uh, wait till we get the green light till we can go. That's a duty-free shop just up ahead of us there. You can get uh, all kinds of goodies, I guess, for duty free. Smokes, drinks, you name it, they got perfume. All kinds of goodies in there. Alright, four wheelers. I need to get in here too. Not just you. Seems like they got this down to single lane up there, and the four wheelers just always want to squeeze right in there. And you don't force your way in there, they, they will never let you in. Almost feels like it anyways. Yep. Anyways, here is the bridge, Peace Bridge. Going into Canada, that's right. Well guys, this is it. We will be entering Canada right about now. Yeah. Got a nice big lake up here between Canada and New York. Yeah. But we gotta go see if we can get to the booth up here. It looks like a long line up there again. Might take us half an hour to get through the border, but. Crossing border, entering Ontario. Yeah, no, we are in Ontario. That's right. Let's see how bad the traffic will be in here at the border. Meters, keep to the right on Lake Erie Circle Tour and then Can't slide right in 1.1 1. 1 kilometers. That doesn't look too bad. I've seen it worse. I've seen it worse. It's only up to about here, so that's not bad. Uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Should be through the border. So anyways, we'll see you guys on the other side somewhere. Well... We are in Mississauga, Ontario right now. We only got about a mile and a half to go. Turn left on Van Danger Court. And we'll be at our terminal, yeah. So we'll go drop the trailer and then uh, we'll head over to Fly and J, get a shower, fuel up, and then go to Master Steak. That's gonna be good. Look at this guy here on the bicycle. He's almost riding as fast as me. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that biker there, he just wouldn't move over, right? All right. There you go. There we go. Yeah, so we are looking to have ourselves a good supper. That's for sure. These roads are terrible here in this stretch, but oh well, can you do? There goes the biker. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go drop the trailer and then uh, maybe we'll see you at Master Stick. Or you guys will see me at Master Stick, maybe. We'll see. That's it, guys. We are done for today. We went and had ourselves a much needed shower, filled up the truck. Went over to Master Steak, had a really, really nice steak, and went over to our pickup location, which is top secret. Yes, it is. 
We can't talk about this load. I can maybe talk about some of the loads, but and I do the odd time talk about some of the loads, but this one, eh, eh, we can't, eh, we can't say nothing. No way. We're not allowed to say nothing about this load. No way. Anyways, enough of that. We had an awesome, awesome steak tonight. It was oh so delicious. I just wanted to go crawl back in the bed up there and just go take me a good nap. But hey, we're done. We just went far enough out of Toronto so we don't expect to have too much problems tomorrow with traffic up here. Although they do have a little bit of construction up there. But other than that, we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, we're at the Husky truck stop in Bradford, Ontario right now. Yeah. But anyways, with all that being said, you guys have a good day. And we will be sure to see you again tomorrow. Good night. behind me that day is gonna come